Hi, I'm Pan, 30 year graduate from the Violin Group. Welcome to Wisconsin. I'm going to show you the tour of our engineering hall here. So this is the lobby of engineering hall. We can do our study and meet people here out of our office. So now let me show you the way to our own office. So this is our office. Sometimes we put mains here, uh, in front of other groups and ourselves. So <laughs> let me show you our office space. Hey, Lisa. So in our office, we have a group of very lively people. Our third years, Pan and myself, sit in the back here. We have Yanuk, who's working from home, and he's from Korea. Atara, who's from India, is currently doing an internship in Berlin. And here is our empty chair for our undergraduate mentees, where we believe in mentoring. In addition to the cool side, we have two fridges and two microwaves. So that way we have tons of space for all of our grad student food. We also have our personal printer and we have our storage drawer where we have our group snacks. So for our group meetings, we have our group snacks stored here in case any times we have munchies and for our group meetings. And we also have our loner group laptops for when we're traveling to conferences as well. So on the other side of our office, we have a couple more people who are working in the office. We have Jonathan, who is our oldest student here, a fifth year who has a job at Dow. We have Jen Ping, as well as Zainab, who's working from home, our two postdocs, and our lovely window, which not every group gets. We get to see sunrise and sunset, especially in winter. Uh, as we're moving to the right, we can also see our two new first years, Josh and Carlos. Josh is in the office today. Carlos is working from home in Puerto Rico. Well, Jonathan, can you tell me what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, sure thing, come on here. First, what we do is we actually create systems in Python to so make some sort of configurations to run in a simulation. Then we come over here and we write a bash script and we can create simulations this way by running Gromax, example Gromax MD run right here. Then we can submit this onto the cluster, onto our supercomputer, which has 14 nodes. And at the end of that, we get these trajectories which have our molecular configurations that we get at the output of our simulations. Then we can use other uh, Python scripts to analyze those trajectories and obtain results. Jonathan, thanks for showing us what you do in your research from a day-to-day -day basis. Do you have any other time to do stuff besides research? Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, in general from day-to-day, week-to-week, I uh, have a, plenty of activities such as you know playing hockey, weightlifting, snowboarding, you know, in wintertime as it is right now. Um, also, as, like, as far as like larger life events, during grad school my first year, I got married. Um, and when I was a third year, I had my first child and then I'm actually having another child um, as well. Um, I've also been able to go on some pretty awesome vacations. For example, I've gone to Scandinavia for a week um, and I go to visit home actually probably once every two or three months back to Texas. Jonathan, congratulations on landing a job at Dow. <laughs> Can you tell me what it was like and how you think the department, the school, and this group prepared you for landing that job? Yeah, absolutely. Like, first of all, like, uh, fortunately the job market's very uh, large for people with our specific focus. Um, so there's lots of people who employ people who do uh, molecular dynamic simulations. Uh, abstracting from that, we generally have a lot of skills. For example, we do a lot of coding. That's a very valuable skill set in any uh, like job market. Additionally, our department and the, uh, the engineering school have a lot of resources to actually help you prepare resumes, help you prepare for interviews, and actually help you uh, set up uh, inter um, interviews directly with companies. So my Dow job was actually obtained through an on-campus interview um, with a Dow representative. Hey, Pan. Do you mind if you tell me what you do outside of research? Sure. Um, in my daily life, I mostly, I love video games. I like hiking and swimming. I recently started learning tennis. 
So uh, I think we have a pretty nice work-life balance here. What do you think about the group culture here in the Van Lin group? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a very nice group. Everyone is very friendly and helpful. And we, we tell jokes every day in the office, so I really like this group. Uh, I think it's pretty happy to work uh, with this guy here. Lisa, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! Uh. Oh, man! Yeah, what's up, Jonathan? So you yeah, asked us all what uh, we like to do. Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Yeah, so I really like the work-life balance in this group. Uh, besides research, I really like to exercise, like running or biking. And Madison has a lot of really great trails to go uh, on those activities. Also, Madison has a lot of hiking trails, so I'm able to drive out like 15 or 30 minutes away and go hiking in the snow or in the summer. Um, I also like to volunteer, and there's a lot of volunteering activities around Madison as well. Oh, very cool. Well, what do you think about like um, our group culture? Yeah, so I think our group culture is a very opening, welcoming culture. Everyone here comes from a very different place. I come from New York City, and so coming here, I really like exploring different uh, ways of where people lived and talking to them about where they came from, so Texas or Korea. So that's been really fun. Everyone here is also very helpful. So I came from an experimental background and I had no uh, computational um, expertise, but everyone here is very welcoming, very, very happy to help you uh, get onto the cluster and start running simulations. So that's really great that you like the group culture. What do you think about Reed specifically, like maybe his mentorship style? Yeah, so I think Reed is a really good PI. He's very flexible. He has a lot of transparency in working with him and he's very open-minded. So he's very flexible because if I need to go to the doctors or to the dentist, he's able to work around my schedule. Uh, he's very transparent and if I needed to have vacation time, we have our expectation document and I feel very free about talking to him about that. I don't feel very worried or scared. And he's also, he's also very open-minded because if I want to go for any type of research opportunity like going in this direction for my research project or applying for a fellowship, he's very supportive and is, and is even willing to read through the application for me. Cool, thanks so much for your input. Thank you for your interest in the Van Lane Group and thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about our group, please visit our group website posted here. Thank you.